The Swiss National Bank sold a large amount of stocks in the third quarter of 2018. This information is made public and we must constantly track the progress to see what they're up to. In this case, it looks like the S&B was ahead of the curve by selling off US stocks before the stock market dropped. Interesting. They seem to have a crystal ball. If we trace their steps, we can get a general idea of what central bankers were thinking and see how that played out. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we're going to look specifically at the Swiss National Bank. I want to show you exactly what they did in the third quarter. I will break this all down every single step of the way. Let's begin. This right here is the information directly from the SEC's own website. If you want to find this for yourself, of course, there will be a link in the description under sources. But what you can do is go to a search engine, you type in 13F13F, and then the name of the entity you're searching for, in this case, Swiss National Bank. You can also search for Brookshire Hathaway. You can do anything and you will be able to see this information because it is made public. The only downside to this is that we find out after the case. So this happens to be from September 30th. So that's the most recent information that we can gather about the Swiss National Bank. That's the way it works. We always find out after the case. So I'm going to bring this to you and I'm going to show you this information. But when you look at the actual 13F itself, it's very difficult to look at. The information is not organized well. But there are a few sources out there that I'm going to show you right now that break that information down into really digestible portions that you can see. They put them in charts. They give all this information to you to make it easy to read. These are very, very useful. And I've shown you this before if you're a regular viewer to this channel, but I'm going to break it down for those who haven't seen this before. This happens to be whale wisdom. Remember, all the links I'm going to show you today will be under the sources, so you can check that out. Swiss National Bank. All right, let's see what they've been up to, because I had expected that they would have sold off before October, and I was definitely on the mark for this one, because they will know before anyone else does what's going to happen. They are obviously going to be ahead of the curve. So let's break down into detail exactly what they did here. You can see that the top cells include Facebook, all right? So while the percentage change isn't that great, certainly when you look at their portfolio and see what they've been selling off, it's going to make a difference. Now, just having the Swiss National Bank selling off let's say a billion dollars of a stock, isn't necessarily gonna bring that company down to its knees, but they're not the only one. They're all trading on information that they may be looking at at the same time, and then you see these big percentage declines like Facebook experienced. On the right-hand side, you can see the 13F holding summary, whether it's Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, they've got a lot of the US tech stocks in their portfolio. So their market value as of September 30th is just shy of $90 billion. That's not the biggest in the world, but this is just for their US portfolio, of course. That's the information that is released under the 13F. And there's more details in here. They tell you that they've sold out of 33 stocks. They reduced their holdings in 600 stocks. And of course, it gets into more detail. I'm not gonna break down everything for you. This is whalewisdom.com. And this resource here is Fintel, okay, Fintel. I've also shown this one before, and this breaks it down in many ways. You can organize this spreadsheet here, but I wanted to show you what has happened. Apple, percentage change, minus 6.41%. Microsoft, minus 3.65. Amazon is in here. Facebook is in here. Google or Alphabet is here. If I keep scrolling down this list, it's all big names, of course. Cisco, Home Depot, MasterCard, 
Pepsi, Coca-Cola, all the big boys, they're all here. And if you see, if you look down this list, the font is quite small. You might have to look at the link yourself. But all of these, as I scan through visually, they're all negative. And that's what happened here with their portfolio. They've sold off 600 stocks. And why? Because they know what's coming before it comes. This is just one entity and that happens to be the Swiss National Bank. They can see their portfolios declining, whether it is the stocks that they have sold, bringing their market value down, bringing the amount of shares that they own down, or because the stocks that they own are then going down with the rest of the market. I just wanted to give you an idea of exactly what the Swiss National Bank has been doing. I wanted to give you a breakdown on that, and I think it's so important to be addressing this every single quarter. This is Holdings Channel, another resource that breaks it down as well. They all do it in a slightly different way, and I like to look at all of them if I can. The percentage change in Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Alphabet, Visa, and so on, and look at the red lines. All of those are negative. So you'll see the breakdown for yourself. It's not good when something like a central bank is selling off shares, and they had been buying for years and years pushing up these stock prices. And isn't it so interesting that the month coincides, October coincides with a period of time before this central bank sells off. Kind of interesting. So I'm going to go through all these other big entities. I'm going to see what kind of information I can pull up to see if they were all onto the same trend. Was it just the Swiss National Bank doing this? Or was there some information that obviously a set of individuals had been privy to that you and I don't get in the mainstream? Now, I think that it was a wise idea to take profits. They didn't sell off all their shares. Of course, they still have a large percentage of their portfolio here in these tech stocks. But it remains to be seen what they're going to do throughout October, now we're in November and December. I won't be able to tell you until we pass that point and I could see what they've done. But it seems like they're ahead of the curve in this case. So I'm going to show you a few charts here. It's just breaking down exactly what they've done. Value of the Swiss National Bank US stock holdings going through 2018. They were purchasing and of course they still do purchase. That's a fact. However, they may choose to rebalance their portfolio, reallocate some of their portfolio, which I have been advising to be the case that those individuals who are in the know are doing something and a lot of other people are not listening. And that's not good. That's definitely not good. Swiss National Bank top holding September 30th versus June 30th, 2018. The yellow is the second quarter and the blue is the third quarter of 2018. And you can see that for Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and Alphabet, these, all of them had been reduced percentages during this period of time. All the big boys, for the most part, that tends to be where it is, but those are the significant sell-offs. And it's quite interesting to see definitely what they've done. Swiss National Bank, Apple Holdings, they had been selling off here, showing us that they're not at their peak anymore for how much they've held, but they still do hold a very large amount of shares. Let's not kid ourselves here. All right, they're holding millions and millions and millions of shares, and that helps to prop this company up. It's just one entity and just one corporation we're looking at, but certainly we get a good idea that if you have some of these huge entities buying up a lot of the shares, it helps this company out a lot. Switzerland Central Bank has stuck firmly with its ultra low interest policy and this basically talks about the fact that they've kept it to minus 0.75 percent 
And they're talking about it being an emergency move, but emergencies are something that happens in an instant, and then you change it in short order, maybe a week, maybe a month, but not months and years and everything that's happening today. That's not happening. The crazy decisions that are being put into place, and yet they go on. It's not just Switzerland. How many countries are into the negative interest rates? What we are accomplishing is the complete destruction of the monetary system, the financial system, and we are creating a world in which central bankers own everything. And that is my complete and entire philosophy, my thesis for why this crisis has been created. It is intentionally done so so that central bankers own the world if you found this video informative please give me a thumbs up when you give me a thumbs up you're supporting this channel i do regular updates on the swiss national bank i do so on other entities you have to hit that subscribe button stay tuned because i'm going to bring you more in-depth detail so definitely hit that button you'll be notified regularly about my updates and if you want the financial education you were not taught in school, well then these two books have it all. I hope that you will check out the link in the description. You're going to be able to flip through the pages of the books to see if you like them. And if you're more interested in the audiobook version, you can get that at themoneygps.com.